Okay, now pay attention here now. We're gonna explain how this works, why it do. All right, so here, that's the full level right there. So, let's say, we're, let's go to mid-level on the tank, roughly. If I bent the arm down, if I bend it that way, that's gonna force the gas to push up on the float harder for any position that this wiper is in. I can't change the position of the wiper, but I can change the position of the float relative to where the wiper is. So, by forcing the arm, putting the arm down lower for any, at this given position where the wiper is, the gas is going to try and force that float to be on the top of the surface. Uh, what? Yeah, well, I lost my train of thought there, but you see what I'm saying. So the the arm being more of a of a bend here, I increased the bend right in that. I in, decreased the radius of that bend a little bit uh, by decreasing that and lowering the level of the float. The gas should push up on it, and for any a little, for all intents and purposes, a little higher, harder, and that should theoretically raise that wiper arm just a little bit, and give. Uh, the gauge, the signal that the level is higher. Make sense? It seems count. Whoa, moved my thumb on the phone. It seems counterintuitive. It's almost backwards, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it works. Has to, has to be. I mean, if you did it, if you used a real extreme example, like if I, if this was bent at a 90 degree angle, so the float was way down here. So okay, so yeah, the, if the gas level is here and the wiper is right there, call that half tank, versus the gas level being way up here and calling it half tank, or way down here and half tank. Know what I'm saying? Got me? Following me? Okay.